we're not making horsepower late. Your peak horsepower is at 5,500. Now, why would we do that? There's your stock module that we took off the motorcycle. And this system here just plugs right in in place of the stock module. Man, that sounds great. I don't know. You like that sound? Yeah, yeah, <laughs> I do. There's going to be comments going, you know, why didn't you put a throttle body on? Well, we could have, but... Since last night, we've installed the cylinder heads and torque them front and rear. We've installed the valve train, and right now I'm in the process of adjusting the last push rod. So we're going to be wrapping it up shortly, and hopefully we'll hear it run. Nice. A full d, &D exhaust system. And this is their new 2 and 2 x cap. I can't wait to hear these on the motorcycle. I uh, do want to mention, you took a really good system off of the motorcycle with the power level that you had with your 107. But now that we've elevated that engine power, we're going to have to select an exhaust system that's going to be appropriate so you can make the power and the efficiency that the engine was designed for. Of course, we're going to reach for one of the best, and there it is, D&D. Fort Worth, Texas. Rusty and his crew make great parts down there. The way this pipe is designed, I mean, but over so you can take a look at it and see how it's got the, the X design in there for how it flows and how it scavenges, ceramic coating, thermal coating on there. When you buy a D&D system, you never have problems with cracks, bracketry. It is so stout the way that it's made. And then D&D also makes the mufflers, same thing, super quality American made, really nice part, have these chrome tips that are going to go in there and uh, it's going to be a great system that's really going to make the engine come to life and you guys are going to see that in real time as soon as we're up and running. You see this is probably the biggest improvement is installing this pipe. Um, we installed it with the front oxygen sensor in place are installed already and I just lay the lead down here about where it's going to go. That's it. That is it. The bracket that they supply to install right here on the bottom of the transmission, they've designed it in such a way that the exhaust pipe sits on top of it and holds it in position on the cylinder heads. So that way you can take and rotate these, line them up, and install your nuts. You don't have to remove the heat shields. The tools that you tighten the, the nuts up that secure the exhaust system won't touch the chrome and scar it or anything like that. Same with the front. It's really tight up here, but they, they notched it so that way you can get a socket in there and tighten the nuts up without damaging the, the heat shield. That was a big improvement. Thank you, Rusty. So how we're gonna tune this engine is with the Thundermax system. They were nice enough to supply that for this particular build and we're just going to go over some of the features and details about it so you know how it works. There's your stock module that we took off the motorcycle. We're just going to unplug it at these three joints and remove it. And this system here just plugs right in in place of the stock module. Thundermax system is very unique. It has many, many features. Our Zippers has a lot of experience with it. We worked with this product in its original development for over nine years and we tune all of our engines with this particular product. And we're basically going to go from narrow band tuning to wide band tuning. This is the narrow band sensor that comes out of the factory system which we're going to remove and we're going to replace this little 12 millimeter narrow band which tunes in a very very specific area to this wide band sensor. This allows us to have a more robust tuning from a closed throttle position to the mid range and all the way to the top end. So we're tuning every throttle position at every RPM on a constant basis. So it's reading, reporting, and correcting the map based on the ambient conditions that you're riding in. And with a motorcycle, you ride in lots of various areas. Ambient air is always changing, and the wide band system inside the Thundermax, which reports to that into the module, it's all built onto the circuit board, is uniquely keeping that engine tuned properly. The other thing that's unique about it 
is that Zippers makes a lot of calibrations just about for everything that we make. So when a, a shop or a, a person is putting a, a system on, uh, we can provide them with the calibration they need with the proper size injectors to match the pipes and the engine parts that's in there. And then it's just a matter of taking a little computer, you plug your cable into the module like we have here, and you upload the file You're ready for a road test. And if there is additional tuning need because of the circumstances of that motorcycle, the software is very robust. We have the ability to uh, make adjustments to the rev limit. We can make adjustments to the speedometer calibration. If we have different gearing or different wheel sizes, we can change the idle speed, work on the D-cell to smooth the D-cell cut so that you have a nice clean de deceleration when you're going downhill. Alter injector time. A lot of our bigger engines run some big injectors that we have to do the feed to make the power so you can make an adjustment there. This system with the Zippers engine component kit we can get you a perfectly running motorcycle in pretty sure order. So that's going to make this engine package trim out just right. So why did we choose the Sleeper 124 over the Muscle 124 for Tall's motorcycle? The Sleeper kit uses a factory relatively unmodified cylinder head. We had a little bit of issue with the guide so we had to do a little bit of work but we didn't do any real performance work. We just kind of repaired the cylinder head uh, to bring it back in spec. When we go to a full muscle kit, we are doing a full CNC ported cylinder head. We're putting new guides in, doing a full port job. Everything inside gets improved and replaced. These heads flow in incredible amount of air and we can make pretty much match torque and horsepower. Our muscle 124 was actually putting out about 150 horsepower and 150 uh, foot-pounds of torque. Absolutely remarkable what can be done to these new Milwaukee 8 motorcycles. So why sleep it? Well, what we wanted to show in this build is you can make a very sophisticated ride using a lot of parts that Harley has already put on this motorcycle. There's going to be comments going, you know, why didn't you put a throttle body on? Well, we could have, but we paired the stock head with the stock throttle body and a very specific cam, the 472, to give the best throttle response to so the maintaining of the airspeed through that smaller throttle body that gives you the better early throttle response. And you know, everything that we've done for the Sleeper 124 isn't going to stop from going to a Muscle 124 in the future. You essentially would come in, redo the heads, we would have to change the piston to change the compression, and you'd want to run a little bit different cam, but the reality is this is going to produce so much torque, but it's going to be so easy to ride. It's going to be wonderful when you're touring, when you get, when you get caught in the rain, if you get caught in inclement weather. The muscle kits, and I don't want to sound negative because they're not, they are a rowdy package. It's a handful if you get caught in inclement weather. You have to be a very mindful rider. So what we felt with Hall's motorcycle, even though he has a lot of experience on bikes, much more powerful than this, because of how he rides and where he rides, we wanted to give him that all around package where he's gonna have torque like never before. You know, I've always said there's, there's certain kits that are my favorites. And this particular kit is one of my favorites, the, the Sleeper 124. It's, it's really remarkable if you think about it. Stock throttle body, stock cylinder head, and the, the power output is, is just fantastic. I think everyone is really thankful of what Harley has done with this Milwaukee 8 engine because the bike ran great stock and we can do drop one kits to make just insane numbers. The muscle kit, fantastic. There may be a muscle kit in the future. I don't know. We'll see how he likes the Sleeper 124, and maybe maybe later on we will go to the full cord cylinder head. If I were you, I would really think about how you ride, where you ride. Just what do you want? Do you want something that is absolutely tire shredding crazy, or do you want something that has incredibly tractable power? All right. Mm -hmm. I'm only gonna ride 10 seconds. So. Okay.
Wrong. We are almost complete putting Tall's motorcycle back together. Um, where we stand right now, the engine has been heat cycled. We actually take a long time to do the very first, the first several warm ups of the engine. And it's to protect the ring, it's to allow the ring to really seat into the cylinder wall without putting too much heat into it. We've gone through that lengthy process. I believe we've just dumped the oil so we have all fresh oil in. As soon as we get all those initial shavings off of the cylinder wall, we want to get them out of the engine. And just installed this really nice Thundermax oil cooler fan. I wish every motorcycle had this from the factory, but Thundermax has come out with this incredible product that's extremely easy to install. And what it all it does is it helps the effectiveness of your OE oil cooler. So that extra fan really helps once you start adding extra power to the engine. So we've improved the cooling, uh, we've got new oil in it, and we're just wrapping up a couple final pieces, and we're gonna go break the motor in, and we're gonna be on the dyno here shortly.
by me going up that hill. That, that old that thing was barking. It was really <laughs> great. Man. Did you notice it was cold outside? No, no, I didn't even feel it. We could have kept on going a little bit I, further. I told you. <laughs> I told you. <laughs> hey. It's going to be a great engine for combination for you. I know you're going to have to be able to record a lot of miles and, and a lot of smiles. Yeah. I, I want to thank everybody from Zippers. Seriously, guys, this, this worked out better than I could ever expect it. This motorcycle, thank you. Thank you so much. Oh, it was, our, it was our pleasure. Thank you. We enjoyed every minute. Thank you, man. It was our pleasure. All right. Thank you, Bob. <clears throat> no problem. Dave went the other way. Tell Dave thank you as well. It is... I can't really put it into words to be honest with you. You did a fantastic job on this. All right, next time we see you at the track, we're going to work on the heat the tire, getting your furnace, <laughs> and get your launch right, and everything will be good, right? Okay, yeah. All when right. Everybody see me at the track with this. Done deal. Thank you. All right. Thank you, man. Thanks again. Nice. Listen, thank awesome. you, man. You stayed late and did all kinds oh. of stuff. Thank you. I really appreciate it. All right. everybody, like I thank it. everybody from Zippers. You guys, I've said it before, you guys have a fantastic team here. So. We have a lot of great dealers all over the country. Oh yeah, and yeah. we got a lot of great people around, not in the United States, in Canada, around the world, that use our products, which we're gratefully appreciative of. And oh yeah. Hopefully, this is a new product that they'll like too. I can't wait to get home. It's supposed to be at least ten more degrees warmer there. <laughs> I get out. Put it's miles on it's supposed to be in the fifties this weekend. I'm riding. I'm riding this weekend. Alright, let's get you in. Okay. Alright, before we'll you go, go up, we got two more two little things to go over. Okay? okay. We didn't hit two of the objectives that I told you we were gonna do. And I wanna be honest up front with you about this. Okay? Right. So here it is. This is called the Sleeper 124 kit. And the whole point of the sleeper kit is no one else knows that you have power. Yeah. We failed you. Because I could hear you coming from so far away, and it sounded so good, and it sounds so good when you're idling, and so good when you took off, that everyone's going to know you've got work. Oh, yeah. So oh, yeah. the name, we've kind of failed you on. Oh, no, no, right. that's all right. And the power number, I said we were going to be maybe about 140 foot-pounds yeah. and 120 something horsepower. Yeah. We didn't hit those numbers either. So we still have plenty of power. We hit 150 foot-pounds. And 130 horsepower. Oh, man. so I wasn't honest, but we did better. And I hope you're all right with that. I'm all right. Thanks, man. I appreciate it. It turned out great. We're really happy yeah, thank to be able you. To do this for you. And it's like fast. Uh-huh. It's fast. Now oh, it's fast. All right. So <laughs> oh, we need to go look at your dyno graph. Okay. I'd like to show you that if you want to come sure. in. Sure. Okay, so here is the original baseline. Made 104 foot pounds and 76 foot 76 horsepower. Now, I want to point out that 104 foot-pounds is, that's very nice at 2,000 RPMs. For a stock bike with a set of slip-ons, if you, if you look back at the beginning of the twin cam, that's a performance bike. So it's, it's really amazing what Harley has done here. But what we've done is we have just made it come alive. So by using the 472, we intentionally shifted the, mean, the, the peak torque a little bit later. Now, I talk about early torque. You've got early torque because, I mean, you know, we'll start talking numbers here. You you hit you hit 130 foot pounds of torque at 1800 RPMs. That's insane. Yeah. So you have a lot of early torque. It's relatively flat in this area right here. If we had used a 468, it would have jumped up immediately and hit a lot harder here. And what it would have done is you would have had a real hard time getting traction. So I think this is a little bit better package when you couple it with this um, D&D 2 into 2 and the Sleeper 124 kit because this is going to give you so much more power than what you had, but you can manage it. You can go nice and easy if you have to. We haven't made this thing an unrideable monster. You can be as gentle as you want and then as fast as you want once you lay into it. So you hit a solid 150 right here at 37.50. That's a very good classic true dual curve. We're not making horsepower late. Your peak horsepower is at 5,500. Now, why would we do that? There is more horsepower up here. And like I said, there's a lot of things we could do to make more horsepower. But by keeping this low, we're keeping the piston speed low. We're keeping everything into the lower, more reliable area. So the higher the RPM, the higher the piston speed, the higher the wear, the, the less reliable it's going to be in the long run. We wanted you to have a package that was rideable, that was 
insanely fast whenever you wanted it, but wasn't gonna hurt in the long run. Kind of the best of everything. You know, that big torque, it's still not a little horsepower number. No, no. You know, there's a lot of motorcycles out there that don't have 130 horsepower. We're very pleased to be able to do something like this. And it's taken the entire team of everyone in the building to be able to create a power curve like this. Yeah. You know, it took all of our experts, uh, Tom and Ben, in our head department to fix your heads. Because remember, you know, you had a problem when you came in here. You yes. had that, you had that oiling issue. Your guides were worn out, so they fixed your heads. Dave would have been the one who uh, honed your cylinders and fitted your pistons. Multiple other people, Tommy was involved with boring the cylinder to get it to the size for Dave. There's almost no one in this building that hasn't touched some aspect of this. We're all very proud to work together as a team to provide the product for you. You know, as I said from the beginning, I'm not here for the numbers, I'm here for the riding experience. So I'm gonna be very excited to see in the future all of your new videos and how your riding experience is playing out because that's what matters most to us. It's about the ride, I don't care about this. I care about this, but I don't. I care about the smile on your face when you're riding that motorcycle, that's number one. All right, guys, so I'm done here at Zippers. I want to say goodbye to everyone and thank them for all that they've done. It took a whole team of people to make this bike, so I'd like to go through personally and uh, shake hands with them and thank them. Um, so we're going to meet everyone. I've met them already, but I'm going to let you meet them, so we're going to walk through the shop now. We'll come through here. This is the shipping department. Becky. <laughs> Hello. Thank, thank you, John. You. I hey, want to thank welcome. you. Thank you. I really appreciate all, all that you've done here. You, you make a fantastic product here, and I just wanted to thank you personally. Thank you. All right. Yep. All right. Appreciate it. Thanks and, again. Uh, make you guys travel safe. All right. Thank Have you. fun riding that thing, and be careful. Okay. Remember, things happen a little quicker now. Yeah. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> okay. All right. We'll come back here real quick. Tom, okay. you have a quick second. Sure. Tom. Thank you, Tom. Alrighty. I really appreciate all that you've done. You worked on the... Uh, I do the cylinder head work. I yeah, you did the cylinder, cylinder head. So oh, yeah, I appreciate it, Tom. Thank you, Tom. Thank you, Tom. You're welcome. Oh, thank, yeah. thank, Tom. thank you, Tom. I really enjoyed meeting you guys. Everyone was very kind, very professional, and um, I really enjoyed being here with you guys. Thank <laughs> you. Ben again, thank you. Yep, congrats. Thank you for all you've done. Yeah. Thank you, Colt. Yeah. I appreciate it, man, for all you guys done. I love my sleeper kit. It is sleeper 150 foot pounds of torque yeah you can't call that a sleeper kit no, <laughs> yeah <laughs> but i appreciate it thank you guys for yeah. all you done um uh, going back there with mike yeah we'll go back to see if mike's okay. here okay oh he ain't here i think he's gone oh man Bye. thank you justin oh thank you yeah. uh, oh thank you we'll see you i'm sure somewhere. oh yeah oh yeah we'll see you on the flat track somewhere yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. thank you for showing us your bikes and thank you for just being a part of the team helping put my motorcycle together i'm just when i start to learn my way around we're leaving oh yeah, well, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> i want to thank you dave fun. i really appreciate all you've done i do Warden, you, welcome enjoy it be safe thank you Thank you. Yeah, you guys had a safe trip. Yep. Thank you. Yep. Take care now. Unfortunately, my battery went dead, but I would like to thank everyone from Zippers Performance and Larry from Build Ride Repeat. And a special thanks to Leonard for going along with me on the ride. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you'd like to be notified when more videos are uploaded, hit the subscribe button and the notification bell. I want to thank you for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe. And as always, have a blessed day.